Muscle relaxants are a group of drugs used to treat muscle spasms associated with a variety of muscle disorders. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover the important drug names to know and the major side effects to keep in mind, so you'll be ready for test day. Ah, welcome back to the spa where a client is getting a nice, relaxing massage. His muscles are going to be so relaxed afterwards. Which reminds me, this massage will serve as your memory anchor to muscle relaxants. Because just like a massage, muscle relaxants are used to, well, relax your muscles. Muscles can spasm in a variety of conditions, such as spinal cord injuries, multiple sclerosis, and cerebral palsy, just to name a few. Muscle relaxants help to control these spasms, improving the quality of life for patients. Now, let's cover a few major drug names of muscle relaxants you should know for the NCLEX. Ooh, I really feel that massage deep in the client's back. When you think of this guy getting a back massage, remember the drug name baclofen. Get it? Back for baclofen? Baclofen is the first muscle relaxant drug we'll cover. Let's continue. See that sign there that says caress? Even the name of this spa sounds relaxing. By the way, the word caress is here to remind you of Carissa Proudall. You know, caress for Carissa Proudall or Caressa Proudall, if you will. Okay, just two more drug names to cover. The massage therapist, or should I say masseuse, keeps all of her massage supplies on a metal cart. This metal cart should help you remember the drug name methacarbamol, because metal cart and methacarbamol sound pretty alike, right? Methacarbamol is another muscle relaxant drug that you should know, and in clinical practice, you may hear this drug called by its trade name, Rabaxin. But remember that the NCLEX will only test you on generic names, so, just use this metal cart for methacarbamol and you'll be set. So what exactly does the masseuse store on the metal cart? Most importantly, she keeps her cyclone blender. This spa goes over the top, giving their clients fresh smoothies with each massage. This cyclone blender should help you remember cyclobenzaprine. Get it? Cyclone blender for cyclobenzaprine? Great. Now that we've covered all the important drug names to know, let's move on to talk about some of the side effects of muscle relaxants. Unfortunately, this massage isn't quite the relaxing experience the client was hoping for. He has been laying face down for so long that he is starting to feel dizzy as he gets up. When you think about the massage making this man dizzy, remember that muscle relaxants can also make people dizzy when they stand up too quickly. This is formally known as orthostatic hypotension. And be sure to instruct your patients to stand up slowly to avoid a sudden blood pressure drop that can cause dizziness that may even cause a fall. It's been a long day of giving massages, and the massage therapist is ready to call it a day. As you might imagine, being a masseuse isn't exactly riveting work, and this one is so tired that she's yawning. The yawning, tired massage therapist should help you remember that muscle relaxants can cause sedation and drowsiness. This is an expected side effect, so its occurrence is not a reason to stop taking the medication. Before we wrap up, take one more look at the metal cart. There is a no alcohol sign, informing the clients that their smoothies are alcohol-free. Just like there is no alcohol here at this spa, patients taking muscle relaxants should not drink alcohol. Alcohol can potentiate the sedative effects of the muscle relaxants and be dangerous for the patient. Just remember, alcohol and muscle relaxants shouldn't mix. All right, that's all for this video on the muscle relaxants. Let's recap. Muscle relaxants are a drug class that are used to treat muscle spasms associated with several skeletal muscle conditions like multiple sclerosis and cerebral palsy. Drugs to know in this class include baclofen, carisoproudol, methacarbamol, and cyclobenzaprine. Muscle relaxants can cause orthostatic hypotension and sedation, both of which are expected side effects. Patients taking muscle relaxants should avoid alcohol. And now we're actually done with muscle relaxants. I could use a massage right now. What about you? See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.